Hey y'all, hello, hello. Happy Monday. What is going on? What's going on, y'all? It's a beautiful day. It's beautiful. It is sunny outside. It's a nice day. We are alive. We are well. Y'all, let me just go ahead and, uh, and address Miss Nicole Tyler. Miss Nicole Tyler. You look delusional. You look unhinged. Miss Nicole Tyler, didn't you call 5 Babe unhinged? When 5 Babe was coming on and telling her story and and whatever, you know, she's coming on and she's letting people know how she's feeling. She's letting people know what's going on with her. She is coming on. She's sharing a lot more of herself. She was coming on a little bit more. Didn't you say she was unhinged? What the fuck is wrong with you and your issue with James Caldwell? Like, you are so pressed. You are so pressed for that man to come and respond to you. Come on. Come on. Come off the porch. Come on. Come off the porch. You, you see how I'm sounding? And you see how my dog came running? Do you, you see that? That's how you sound. Like you're calling the dog. Come on. Come on. Look at you see, you you see. <clears throat> what the hell is your problem? He don't have to address you. You look so freaking thirsty for him to address you. And then for you to tell people to unsubscribe, people who have went and took their time out of their days to support you, watch you, invite you into their lives, and you want to make it, you want to make fun out of unsubscribing? That shit ain't funny. That shit's not funny. And you just another content creator who shows how you do not value the people who support you. But that's on them. They support who they want to support. But I'm just saying, as far as I don't think that shit is funny. Did you unsubscribe yet? If they haven't, they should. Pac-Man! Back to the scheduled program. Go sit your butt down. If they haven't unsubscribed, they should. Okay? Because that shit ain't fucking funny. People choose to support you, give you some leeway, give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, Nicole just being Nicole. You know, this is just how Nicole is. Blah, blah, blah. And what? And what? You want to make fun? Have you unsubscribed yet? That shit ain't fucking funny. As far as coming for James Caldwell and the way that you have, you sound very, very thirsty for attention. You want some content so bad. Yeah, you can talk about who you want to. Yeah, you can make a video about who you want to. But he don't have to if he don't want to. See, he has that same freedom. That's not what you're understanding. And then you're putting wrong information out here again. James Caldwell never called you J Gator Croc 2.0. That's not what he did. Okay? That was somebody else who called you Gator Croc 2.0. But again, you choose to put it on James because they're connected by their friendship. So again... Your reasoning for coming for James in the first place was because he was friends with somebody that you you weren't you were beefing with at the time. So, oh, since I'm beefing with him and their friends, oh, I'm going to come for him too. And then you deny it. So then when you want to keep bringing the story up about how you and somebody else was beefing, Sean Bradley, you and Sean Bradley were beefing. And since he's friends with James Caldwell, you decide to drag him into it. Oh, why not? It's content. Why not? It's content. Isn't that what you said? And now when people want to remind you of what you did, what did I do? Be specific. All I said is be you, do you. No, you. that's not all you said. That's not all you said. You said he was content. Why not? Oh, I saw saw you in drag. I didn't know you dressed like that. 
Like what? And then all you have done in your videos of him, three at least that I know of, all you've done is talk about him dressing as a drag queen. All you've done, I'm a real woman. That's what you want to be. I'm a real woman. You want to talk about how he dressed. You want to make fun of things that he wears, him having nails, him wearing heels, him wearing a waist trainer. That's funny. But see what you're not understanding is you have now exposed what he's been saying about you the whole time. See, that's the problem with you people that want to sit up here and you want to beef with somebody and you want to start shit with somebody. And then when they come at you and they point out what you did, oh no, I didn't do that. I didn't say that. Y'all are twisting my words. You're saying you're making it into something else. You're telling your subscribers and your subscribers and my real people, my day ones, they know me. They know what I meant. But then you make videos because you're thirsty for content. As soon as you run off Tracy's channel and go to your own, now you want to make back-to-back -back videos exposing the exact same thing that you were just denying when you were on the phone call. And as far as roaches, baby girl, the only roach I see is that gap in the front of your mouth. That damn gap looked like the roach motel that you buy out of Dollar Tree. It looked like the little ant house that you buy to keep in the little corners of your house in the springtime. Don't you ever come for my house, lady. Don't you ever come for my house. Just because other people have. Because you don't have shit to say yourself. You ain't got shit to say yourself. You can't come up with nothing original. So you just got to automatically go off of what somebody else said who has never met me, never seen me before in a day in my life, in person. But that's what you do. That's what you do. You take second, third, fourth hand information and you spew it out to the world as it's truth. And then always oh, just roasting gags, always oh, content. Well, now you're content. I'm sure you glad because you, you thirsty for attention. So I'm sure you're going to love this. But if you're going to if you're gonna say that you're not homophobic, if you're going to say you didn't come for somebody, if you're going to deny everything that people have already heard and seen you do, my advice would be when you come for them again, you might want to stay away from those exact topics that everybody has already already said that you've been doing in the first place and then you deny it. You deny being homophobic but that's all the fuck you focus on the whole time that you're talking about them. And then you want to look crazy as hell like you just, come on! Come on off the porch! Come on! Come on! Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Here come my dog again. <laughs> Bye, y'all.